I like that a lot. Okay guys, we have Josh Kelly with us. Uh, he came in fifth place today at the ARG uh, playing Angel Feathers. And yeah, so here's the deck profile. All right, uh, to start the list off, I run four. It's four Zerekiel. Uh, one with a signed copy. Ooh. This card is so, so nice. Kind of misled a little bit earlier with it, but eh. I run the standard four Manatron, also. <clears throat> this card is super, super cool, too. Like and then I'm running three of the Feather Pellets. I was running two for a while, but I ne like almost never saw it, so I'm running three now, and it's been really, really nice. Very, very helpful. Won me a lot of games that probably I would have lost otherwise, so, yeah. Uh, Lemon grade threes. For my grade twos, I am running four uh, arm mounts all. Uh, this card is really nice for your early game and uh, just gaining advantage from your damage zone. Um, as my friend uh, told me, the damage zone is basically your second hand, so yeah, it's a nice way to look at it. And this way it's another fit. I run four million ray pegasus. I was running this at three for a while for one Becca, but uh, I figure the million ray pegasus just kind of like helps a little bit more for guarding and against those protect matchups. And then I am running two Ragnarol. Uh, I actually don't really use Ragnarol as much, but it's very nice uh, to get the extra card just in case. Uh, you can always call out like a Feather Palace or uh, a uh, Million Ray or one of your grade ones that you might need. Uh, for grade ones, I run thir uh, yeah, 13 grade ones. Or, no, no, 12 grade ones. I run 3,000 Ray Pegasus. Uh, I run three mainly because like it's not like your key key card, but it really helps finish the game and such at times. I am running four has deal. This card basically is your like, playmaker, putting directly all the damage to ride from the damage zone, uh, getting metatrons from the damage zone, putting something into the damage zone, really just getting whatever you need, whatever you need from the damage zone. It's really really nice. And uh, setting up, uh, putting the feather palace, getting the metatron to call the feather palace is really cool. Too. Uh, I'm running four Arabaki. I was running this at three for a while, uh, but I figure just being able to see at least one copy, like really, really <laughs> helpful, especially if you have a few Metatron in the game zone or one Metatron. Grabbing that uh, can be a real game changer. And then I am running one of the Doctroid Circadian. I was running two for a while. I dropped one of it for this, but just having that 15k shield can really, really help you and just save you the 5k shield at times. So. Uh, as for my trigger lineup, I am running for No Seal, the draw trigger, because PGs are really, really nice, uh, despite uh, you basically having so many PGs already in hand. For uh, Sunny Smile Angel, healing is very nice, especially when uh, you have five damage. Sometimes it's better to take five damage and then literally just heal twice off of Metatron because of this card. Uh, for Critical Hit Angel, and then for uh, the Samyaza, the Celestial Crit, and then one of the Star. All right, thank you. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about any of your exciting games that you played? Uh, round one, I played against, what did I play against? That is a fantastic question. Let's see, I played against Neo Nectar today. I played against, oh, round one was Shadow Paladin. Uh, so Shadow Paladin, I took uh, two games, basically. Or I won in two games. Um, it was basically kind of like a stall kind of match. Uh, most of the time, my opponent didn't even want to like Phantom Blaster Dragon me just because like I had so much hand and that uh, it wouldn't really be worth it on his part. Uh, so basically, just took it in two games. The second game, I was playing against uh, a, a big fan of mine, Terrell. Um, he was playing Neo Nectar, uh, Musketeer Tomato variant with a few uh, Mania Trailing Rooms. And all I can say is those were some really close games, especially game one. Both of us almost decked out. Um, literally, I just had to keep thinking like a few steps ahead and just like, ooh, one slip and it would have been gone. Uh, but game one was extremely close. Game two, not as close, but still fairly close. I took it in two games. Uh, the third round, I played against uh, my friend Bailey Happenin. Uh, he was running Great Nature. Now this is probably one of my toughest matchups like all day today. Um, I ended up losing in two. Uh, not, not really seeing my Metatron for game two, but I, I did fairly well game one. Like, it was kind of close, but uh, my friend Bailey still took it. Um, round four, I played against uh, another good friend of mine, uh, John... Christian? No, no, no. John, John Wheatley. Yeah, uh, Jonathan, John. Uh, he was running uh, OTT, uh, the Imperial Daughter build, with, uh, I think, one of the uh, VR Magus, and then the rest CEOs. Or no, 
not CEOs, uh, Hexagon. Yeah. Um, basically, he got game one. It was very close over there. Game two, I made a really terrible misplay. Uh, I had two cards left in deck. My opponent had one card left, uh, two cards left in deck. And uh, I basically had game. He had two cards in hand, and I swung with my Vanguard. I kind of forgot, and yeah, that was the game for that. <laughs> A little bit funny, a little bit funny. Uh, not my happiest moment, but I mean, he got to win, so that was, I was proud of that. Uh, my last round matchup uh, was also against OTT. I got to face against, uh, I think, Michael Tran. Uh, Michael Tran, uh, he's also a pretty good friend of mine. Um, I haven't really seen him too much, but like we became friends over the time, so that was awesome. Played with him a few times. Um, game one was very close, and game two was incredibly close as well. Uh, basically, just tooth and nail, but I ended up uh, taking it finally uh, game one and game two uh, into. So overall, I went uh, three two. Uh, the two games that I, or the two matches that I lost, I lost into, and then the three games that I won, I won into. Uh, Toppy, uh, starting, I was playing against somebody I Jason forgot. Jason Germain. Oh, yeah, Jason Germain. Uh, congratulations to him. He was running uh, Neo Nectar and. Wow, he had such a huge hand. I literally felt like I just really couldn't do anything. It was amazing to see. And literally, we just kept healing, and he ended up being at like two damage game two. It was insane. He took it in two, so amazing. I have to try out his list. He was running a very cool tech, uh, grade one 7K, where uh, his uh, plus five to your tokens in the same row. Amazing, magical. Mm. Well, well, thank, thank you for you. listening to me. <laughs> And uh, you'll see these other cool guys' profiles later. And yeah, what, what, does anybody know the shop name? Uh, this shop? Uh, Alliance Web Gaming Online. Yep, Argo. This was Argo and Darian. Derek. Derek. Yep. Connecticut. And they're awesome. Definitely come check them out. Peace. Yeah.